Hey guys, today I want to talk about the pectineus muscle. It's the pectineus revisited, I suppose, because I've made videos about the pectineus muscle before. Uh, the pectineus is a little difficult muscle to treat because uh, its action is actually a little misinterpreted, or maybe misinterpreted. My experience is that the pectineus actually performs adduction but in femoral lateral rotation. So I have earlier I've tried to strengthen it by performing adduction of the femur with a slight medial rotation of the thigh. I found that to be somewhat effective but eh, not that much. <laughs> okay so today I will show you a new exercise that I have developed for this muscle. Uh, First of all, why do we want to strengthen the pectineus muscle? Well, first of all, it is an important hip joint stabilizer. It is often found weak if the patient has uh, posterior hip impingement, for example. Another very important cause, and of course groin pain nonetheless, right? For example, sports groin and stuff like that. But another thing that I, that I have found pretty frequently, at least in my practice, is that the pectineus can cause positional compression of the lateral femoral cutaneous uh, nerve, femoral nerve and genital femoral nerves. And how is that even possible? Well, it, <laughs> it took me some time actually to, to figure it out as well. But the thing is that uh, the, the actual muscle belly of the pectineus muscle runs uh, deep to these nerves. And because they are uh, transmitting so close to, to the inguinal, in, inguinal ligament, when you bend forward and you have a very thin and, uh, and tight and weak pectineus, it can actually ram these nerves into the inguinal ligament. And you can have testicular or, or labial, labial pain, you can have groin pain, um, anterior thigh pain, lateral pain, uh, which may mimic IT band syndrome and stuff like that. Uh, the pain is often triggered when you're leaning forward, sitting like this for a long time, squatting all the way down, stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, let me show you how to treat it. <laughs> like with the former exercise, it is most the mo not the most graceful exercise, it looks a little silly, but th this exercise really works and uh, one thing that is better than the last exercise is that in this case you can you can actually feel your muscles working and you know that it's not like the stars have to be aligned, you actually feel the muscle working and you can add a little resistance uh, or at least give, you, you know, you can push yourself a little and you will still have a nice, a nice activation of the muscle. With the former exercise, you know, it was really difficult to know if you were targeting that muscle or not, or if you were targeting the adductor longus or the adductor mag magnus. And that is because in this exercise, we are not going to perform medial rotation of the thigh, but rather, let me show you how to do it. So first of all, this chair is a little silly because I have to lean back. If you lean back, you want arch in your back. If you're sitting straight uh, on a typical dinner table chair, you want you can round your your uh, your uh, your pelvis a little bit. Okay, your low back you can round a little bit. So in this case, because the arm lean is so long, I have to lean back. I will arch my back. I will spread the legs, and then here's the caveat: I will have a lateral rotation of the thigh. So you see, my my can you even see that? My feet are pretty neutral, but my thighs and my hip joints are abducted and laterally rotated. So you will see that my, my TBI, my, ch my shin bone, is actually um, slightly diagonal. And in this position, guys, I will just slightly pull the ankles together. Don't jam them together because you're going to activate everything just like in the last video. But you, you gently pull them together. And what you're going to feel is that you will feel a very nice contraction in the upper part of the groin right at the pectineus. If you have too much lateral rotation, you can even activate the obturator muscles. That's up to you if you want to do that. But you want just a slight, you know, 10, 15 degrees uh, lateral rotation of the thigh. And you perform this gentle adduction movement. Set and rep wise, I mean, it, it greatly varies. If you're a football player or a soccer player, you will obviously be able to tolerate more than someone who has pain just sitting, right? So it, it really depends on the, on, the, on, the, on the problem that you are experiencing. But in general, I will, I will recommend that you do one set until moderate fatigue, a couple of times per week, that, that's enough. You don't have to do set after set after set. Generally, in my experience, people don't really recover from that when the muscle is very weak. So that's what I have for you today, guys. Uh, new exercise for the pectineus muscle is a little uh, difficult to treat, but at least this exercise, it works better than the last one I gave you guys. So I hope you will enjoy it and 
If you have any questions, as always, leave uh, your questions in the comment boxes down below. Thank you.